Hi. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people ask me about grunt fishing in a harbor and so forth. And you've got to explain the situation like this. The harbor don't have much reefs and so forth. You've got all the way along, along there where the boats are, are moored, the big boats are moored. There's stones there that's back there to stop the sand from going when the crops get um, get turned on and so forth. Uh, but the rest of the hub basically is, is, is sand. So um, you've got the crackers on the sandbank and the grunters goes on top of it and so forth. But years back, my mentor taught me and, you know, I knew about it and... and we don't apply it much, but it, it really, really works. So, um, firstly, I'd like to explain to you that if you're offended in this this video, it's your what's them. I'm in my legal right to catch one shark per person, certain species, right? And on the Gielbeck season, we do have a problem with the black tips. They they get babies on on Gilbert Reeves and their children, 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 they just watch them. Now at the moment we are pulling, we're pulling 17, 18 Gilbert, but you will land probably about five of them because of the sharks. So um, don't think that negative publicity, I know I'm going to get a lot of negative publicity about this. Um, don't think that negative publicity is always bad for yourself. Sometimes it's good, you know. And those people that post negative on your WhatsApp, they're not your clients in any case. It's people that looks at you and say, "This guy can fish," you know. They're the people that support you, and this 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 guy knows what's what's happening. So, on the 17th of June, we were fishing for amberjacks and 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 Gilbeck and so forth, and we got hooked up in in into a black tip. We fought him and we brought him to the boat and I could see this this fellow's not gonna make it and I decided to deck it. Uh, I decked it, I kept it and <clears throat> we placed it in the harbor. The reason for that is the divers told me a week before that that there's a shoal of about 150 grunters that's um, outside of, of um, outside of the the harbor so it basically what you do is if you catch a shark like that you place it wherever you want to fish in three weeks time you you dump the shark wherever you want to fish and this shark uh, uh, decomposes and the trick is not to cut him up and to cut the belly up and so forth you just throw it whole there so the skin preserves the meat and this thing decompose takes about three weeks to decompose and that thing smells smells absolutely like it goes out of fashion and that smells goes out with a with a with a tide out to sea and it comes back in and it goes up in the harbor up the silt channel or wherever you placed it and um the ground just comes from all over after the smell and we've had terrific catches of seriously nice big grunters. Um I'm gonna post a video of just proving what we did with with the sharks and explaining why we did it. And um well if you offended by the tough shit, you know, um it 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 works. It works for we sacrifice one shark and we're capable of catching really, really nice fish in our harbor and this weekend um, the weather is not nice, so there's a lot of the harbour boats going fishing in the harbour and like on Wednesday, the start, guys start fishing in the, in the area. Like <coughs> all around where that shark was placed, about 100 metres from it, everybody's been getting 4-5 kilo uh, 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 grande. The harbour boats that fish their pescador got, I think they got 5 or 6, uh, uh, VCAT got about 4-3 on the one trip. And um, then the guys that was fishing in the near block from the sandbank, um, they also got what's them. So, yeah, 
it, it, it really works. It's not nice incredible. You can make a feeding place with intestines or the fish that you clean and so forth. Um, but that is the, the, um, the secret how to attract fish from outside of the harbor into the harbor. And you have a, f a frenzy of, of, of uh, grunters happening and eating in the harbor. So keep a nice look out, the guys that's fishing off the bank. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, obviously it doesn't, it, it probably moves around a little bit, you know, but in the vicinity, uh, the grunt is just there, absolutely. Watch the video that I made, this exact coordinates, where we placed it, and, and uh, um, I'll show you what the, <laughs> what the guys, also caught <laughs> in the vicinity of where we've we've done this. Um, if you respond to this, what's the name? Be, be um, think what you're doing. You understand? Uh, we are allowed catching one shot per person, and you can take it home. You can kill it. You can dump it. You can do whatever what you want. Additionally, you guys have seen me catching tiger sharks and releasing it, catching other sharks and releasing it, and so forth. Um, it's not a big deal. So what happened is, we were fighting a shark and he died of exhaustion. So um, we're going to put him down here, it's the 17th of June. and. Um, we dropped the carcass here at the E10 and in three weeks time we will catch grunters on it. Uh, the decomposing shark, actually the smell goes out of the harbor with the tide and in according to the tide and it actually brings the grunters in from the deep into the harbor. That's the secret of catching grunters in the harbor.